friggin' right we did. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. Today, on the Belsif Show, I've been working on the old 87 here, trying to get some mounts made for some six blinds in the back. So what I've got done so far is right here. Now, as you can see, I did an angle of a dangle here, and then it comes around, and then the angle of a dangle. Now, it's tricky to do this stuff because you haven't got much to screw to. There's one, two, three, four, five screw points on the cab you can use, which is this double layer of metal that comes down, and then you get the notches. Well, if you use a screw just long enough, you don't end up going through the back of the cab, which we don't want to do, right? So. That's about the only mount you have for across the top. So on the bottom, we'll figure something out down there one day. We'll maybe just seam seal it along the edge of that blue skin there, and that should hold it, because this, all this is gonna hold is an amp. But the six blinds will go here in the corners, and like the same thing. You got one screw going into the metal here. We can maybe catch some of the wood here, but I might just seam seal this too and the seam seal across the bottom, but you gotta put a long screw in here and catch the, the double layer of metal here, which is in behind the cab for that, which I did on that side already, see? It doesn't look the best when you do that, but hey, it is what it is. But that's how I did that so far. It looks pretty good. That one there could have been a little bit longer and a little tighter to the edge here, right here. But it's not bad. Like once I get that covered, you won't see that. But I did blue skin all in behind this here. So, you know, it should be a little quieter. As you can see, that door panel is off. I blue skin the doors. You know, just keep the noise down, the moisture out of the truck, stuff like that. But it's coming along pretty good. We're doing pretty good here. Oh, I got something in the back. I gotta show you. Hold on a second. I could wait and show you guys later, but why would I do that? I'll show you now, because that's what I like to do. This truck is sitting a little offside. It's about an inch, inch and a half off. So I might order some proper lowering stuff for it so we can get it leveled up a little bit. But let's just move this stuff out of the way. Oh, look at that M6 by nice Jim. Decent little DS18 action. But in the back of the truck here, we got ourselves a whole bunch of little goodies we do. America, friggin' right America. I gotta go around the other side now. I did make the purchase of some rims for the truck. Just because, like I said, there's nothing wrong with rallies, but I'm not a rally guy. Never liked them, never will. It's just not for me. So what I did is I made the big mistake of picking up some 18 inch rims, which is, you know, the most expensive tires you could buy, pretty much. 20s are cheaper than 18 inch rims. But oh well, I got a good deal on these rims. They're what they call the Rambler. They're pretty nice. Check that out. Huh? What do you think, Captain? I don't know if the video does any justice, but she's a nice deep dish. And it fits on the truck just beautiful, guys. So that's what's going on the Chevy right there and hopefully uh we'll be putting them on sooner than later frig why wouldn't i hold on a minute i gotta put this back I'll show you something I just kind of try to throw it back together again and just cock everything right over oh man now i can't reach that you know what f you ah hey so there we go so that's what i've done there and that's what i'm doing here a little bit of uh action i did take the tips off sorry mike they had to go i just couldn't uh with the rims on them, I just didn't like them, so we just went with black. No, no chrome tips. Just black popping out of the side. Gotta run some wires in behind that wood and then out of that wood into the center where the amplifier is going, but other than that, it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't. I might step the amp out here too in the middle just to hide the wires in behind. I might make a little step out piece of wood, which I don't think is a bad idea. Yeah, I probably am doing that. You can't just buy chunk card, but I picked up this blue material which I was gonna cover that wood with, but it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna make pillowcases probably now. Try looking everywhere for navy blue trunk carpet, you know, for the old speaker box carpets, and you can't find that shit anymore. How come everything's so hard to find now? When blue dye come in, it was a wrong blue. You know, I started to dye this thing here, and look at the color blue it is. What's really going on? That don't look like navy blue to me. Looks like puke blue. Well, that didn't friggin' work. I just washed my truck today. It was nice out this morning. Now it's cold out, but I washed my truck today and now it's all covered in sawdust. Drilling and cutting and stuff. Frick. What would it be? I'm going to pull out the things right now. I'm going to cut the hole for the six binds. So if you want to watch that, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I could probably show you that. There's not much to it. Let me get one out and we'll drill a hole together. Hold on a second, okay? I'm coming. Frick. Don't rush me. 
Now we just need a drill. Drill vintage. Perfect. Let's go outside where it's windy, as long as it's not snowing. Oh, it's all wet. We can't do it there now. Frick. Guess we're going to have to do it here somewhere. Somewhere. Let's make room on the side of the bench here. Somehow. Terrible. All right, that should be enough room, eh? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the drill, and we're going to drill a hole right about here. That's a good drill bit right there. Don't get jealous now. Wow. That was mint. I think I might take this off because I'm going to end up busting it off if I don't. We'll remove that right now. Not later. Right now. There we go, Captain. So now I'll take my jig, powered by DeWalt, and we'll cut a hole. Take the line, Captain. I don't think I've ever cut a speaker hole and haven't had it cut it twice because they didn't quite go big enough. I figured, why not take the line? That way it should be mint. There we go. What do you think? Is it gonna fit the first shot? Leave your comments down below. I'm gonna go get it right now. I'm gonna say, probably not. But you never know. All right, here it is. You ready? Holy shit, it fit the first time, Jim. Look at that fitment. It don't get any better than that. Aw, oh, dick. Friggin' right on, dick. That's decent. So, now, we can put this back on. Actually, what we should do is drill a bigger hole through that, and we'll put a big cock knocker through there. If you don't know what a big cock knocker is, I'll tell you, it's something pretty big. Frick. Here we go, you ready? Aw, oh, dick. Aw, oh, dick. Now, if you're wondering why it went so damn big on that hole, is because I'm gonna make a mark with a screw to where she goes, Captain. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. So we slide that in, slide that in, Hopefully it comes out the other side, it sure does. So now what we'll do is we'll go, we'll put this one in, to get it kind of where it needs to be, like so. Perfect, follow me so I can show you what I'm doing here. Here we go again, trying to find a spot for you. So if you look right here, there's a double layer here of metal. What I'm trying to do is this goes in here like this, and I'm trying to catch that metal. Now this thing goes in just really nice. As you can see, I got it cut just perfect. So now that we've done that, we can take this piece in the middle, slide it in there, pull this out, stick this big drill bit in there, make a mark. So I made a mark right there. So now we'll take a small drill bit and we'll drill it the rest of the way through, like that. So now what we can do is we can put this back in here, like so, and we can take that big long screw that I just showed you, right here, we'll stick it back in this hole, and we should be able to line that right up to that metal. And there it is, and we'll be able to screw it in and pull it nice and tight. Just like that, Jim. There you go. And that's why I did what I did, if you're wondering. And then of course this one's gotta go in too, but we're gonna need a bigger screw for that one too. Let's go get that right now. This one here, I've already drilled a hole to line up, so I should be able to hammer this right into her. Hard. Do you believe me? Probably not. Is my six point gonna fit in there? Probably not. As you notice, I put blue skin in there too. She's gonna be acoustically designed to sound decent. Come on, baby, hit some metal. I'm waiting for it. Oh. I think I got her first shot. Sure did. Did I ever tell you how much I hate hand bombing? It, I, oh yeah, there it is. That's tight, nice and tight. So now let's grab a six by hand, we'll throw it in the hole and see if it fits. We can put a cover on it. This, we are gonna use a friggin' power tool. Yay, found a bit, Calvin. All right, so what we wanna do here is we wanna put the screws there, put the cover on like so, put it in a hole like so. Oh, it fits, Jim. We're doing a good job here so far. Do you believe me? I would. We'll put the speaker screw in the drill. We'll line her up. And when you're doing this, make sure you don't poke your speaker out. There's one, two, three, four. There you go. The reason why I put speaker grills in here is because that way you can throw stuff in the truck in the back behind the seat. You're not gonna dick those speakers over. And that's how they're gonna lock. What do you think of that? That's pretty freaking decent right there. Well, there you go. So that's what I've been working on. Just gonna do the other side. Then we gotta figure out how to, uh, how to cover this thing, like I said. So if you have any ideas, don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think I should use on that. Should I use big fluffy shag carpet? Should I use vinyl? Should I use paint? I'm thinking big shaggy carpet is what I'm thinking. And I've seen some that might even look good and I'll be able to staple it to the top 
and I don't have to tuck in behind so I could actually just wrap the whole thing which might be the way to go that way I don't have to take it all apart right friggin right thanks for being here thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification because I love it when you guys do that hopefully you like what's going on here so far like I said this truck we gotta do some suspension work get her level in this but I'm gonna wait till the rims are on it and the tires are on it that way we can see what's what and where's where and how's how love y'all glad you're here and until next time you know what to do for now